We are here in Robert Mugabe Avenue and as you can see behind me, former soldiers are gathering to march to Parliament Garden to hand in a petition containing their concerns. The protest had to be called off as the Minister of Presidential Affairs, Dr. Albert Kawana, was not available to receive the petition as planned. Since the morning, we, I communicate with the office of the president, the office of the, uh, Dr. Kawana. They are sitting in their office. They don't want to come and receive the petition. It's not all of us who want to join the army. There was a law made by South African colonialists at that time, you understand. After we finished the school, since 1980, up to 1981, 83, since you finished the school, you were supposed to join the army. I don't understand why the Namibian government discriminates against me. You don't want In the past, the government has refused to recognize them as war veterans, and therefore they did not receive payouts currently being given to the former freedom fighters. The three that Swapo never won any battle or never any war. Swapo came here by the reconstruction of 435. He did not won any war. I have all the evidence, all the battles in 1960. Let him come with one battle and say, we won here. There's no winning. And all the resources that the government has been using, the base was ours. He further acknowledged the fact that both Swati F and Kumfut were created by the apartheid colonialism of South Africa to fight against former freedom fighters, mainly former combatants of the People's Liberation Army of Namibia. In all accord, democracy was brought by Swati F and Kumfut. No Swapo men or anyone since 1960 dream about democracy. Until the, the 9th of April 1990, when we defeated them on nine-day war. The petition contains their grievances directed at the president, therefore its detailed content remains secret. This is Stephen Kashekele reporting for the News on One.